go to these recording studios and they had a book. And in that book, you had eight pages of drummers, eight pages of keyboard players, 20 pages of, of violin players or whatever. When I came to the studio, I had my drum machine under my arm and a keyboard under the other one and my sequencer in my hand. The engineer said, what are you gonna do tonight? I said, I'm gonna make a house record. He goes like, what's that? And I don't, he said, don't, don't you need the book? Who, who are you gonna order? I'm like, I don't need anybody, just me. And I really don't need you, but I need you to press a few buttons on the board for me, okay? And, and at that point right there, here we are. Success of Love Came Turn Around will, will always be a mystery how it all came together, actually, because it didn't start off with vocals. It started off with it being an instrumental because instrumentals were quite big for us. Uh, but then uh, I was going to the studio and I called my lawyer up and I said, do you have anybody available who could you know, sing on a track for me? And uh, he said, I got a, a guy by the name of Daryl Pandy. And uh, I said, send him on down to the studio. I so, sure heard him. No, I, hadn't even, I haven't even heard him before. I hadn't even seen him before. And uh, so he came come, came down to the studio, flamboyant, Liberace, Daryl Pandy, and and uh, I asked Vince Lawrence to come down, write some lyrics with me. And Daryl saw the lyrics, and we're like, uh, what you want me to do with that? And then he sang it to Daryl, and they're like, I can't sing it the way you're singing it. I'll take it from here, honey. And he took the song, and the rest is history. You know, he, he really brought the song out. Now this is how it started. My dreams are broken hearted, and I won't give, baby. We'll never be the same, because you play those silly games, and yet I won't give, girl. They say we were an item, my thoughts I try and hide them, yet I need you. But when we get down to it, I just love the way you do it, and I love you. Love can't turn around. He was the face of the song. But, but here's the thing, in the 80s, and it continues to happen now, through the big-headedness of us when we first started, you know, I mean, we, we had huge, huge egos. So when we put the record out, I didn't put Daryl's name on there. I put my name on there because I said it was, it should have had Daryl's name on the first initial record. So when we did the video, uh, it was only Daryl in the video because we couldn't get along and save our life at this point. He's mad at me. I'm mad at him. Um, when the record first came out, um, he only got $500 for singing a song. <laughs> Nobody on God's green earth knows that this is going to be the very first house record that's going to break every barrier and end up on the pop charts in England and go top five, top six. I didn't know that. I paid a guy five hundred dollars and the record blows up. I thought you were my lover, but you left me for another. Thought I knew you. Don't read it in your letters. Don't you make me feel any better? Cause it's not true. I'm just a kid from the south side of Chicago. I don't know much about business, so the people who I signed deals with, the people who I let license my record, all made money off of compilations off the record. I didn't make the money, so Daryl's looking at me, he's mad at me like, so when do I get my money? I said, when I get my money, you'll get your money. Did I ever get my money? No, I didn't.
didn't ever get my money. But we got back together over the years, and, and we both, he listened to me, got his lawyer to dig into it, and he found out that, yeah, we both had got the picture.